hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i know it's been a minute okay today's video is a full get ready with me i'm going to be showing you guys how i keep my style very simple yet elevated i'm going to be doing my hair for you guys my makeup my fragrance so yeah let's dive right into it as i get ready for my friend's birthday dinner the first thing I'm going to start with is picking out what we are going to be wearing today. I have two options for you guys. So this is my first option. It's this kind of like blonde highlight wig. It's brown with traces of blonde in front. And then I have like a regular black wig. This is just like a straight black wig. I feel like blonde is for when I want to have more fun, when I want to step out of my box. Black to me is more like elegant, more sophisticated and more classy as opposed to blonde hair, in my opinion, okay? So let's go ahead and just install that. I'm going to go ahead and take my band off just so I can do my baby hairs like properly. Installed. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my makeup. When I wear this hair in particular, I feel very confident. Every time I wear this wig, I get so many compliments. And, you know, that kind of feeds my ego a little bit. When you feel confident with what you have on, you're able to like walk the walk and talk. So for my makeup today, I'm going to be keeping it simple. Honestly, I have been breaking out so much. And I feel like that's part of the reason why I have been off camera a little bit. This, 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 this here. Like my skin has just really been very irritated lately. So I'm going to keep my products very minimal just so I don't flare up again. I'm taking my Drunk Elephant Lip Balm to give my lips some TLC. My skin prep is just basically one product. I'm not using primer on my face today. I'm using this regenerating serum. It's super hydrating, guys, and I love it. I apply this every morning, every night. I'm just going in with a little bit of color corrector to help me mask all this, my breakouts that I've been having recently. I think it's hormonal. Do my fingers to blend. Let's do our brows. For my skin, I like to kind of keep everything in one layer. So my um, concealer, my foundation, my blush, my contour, everything has to be in one layer because it kind of makes my face look a little bit cakey. So I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer right now, which is the Rare Beauty Concealer. Guys, I swear by this concealer. I love it. So let's go ahead and just highlight underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with my blush. This is also by Rare Beauty. And apply this on the high point of my cheeks like so. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of contour. And this is my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW55. contour my blush is pretty much done so i'm going to go in with my foundation now and i'm going to apply this everywhere that my makeup did not touch Oh my goodness so my lashes are from high profile cosmetics and yeah they are really really giving i honestly love them i'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of highlighter to my face and i'm using the mac cosmetics flashing eyes extra dimension highlighting palette
time for my outfits and when I pick out my outfits I like going for tones that are more in the neutral zone or if I'm going for color I like having everything kind of monochromatic and matchy matchy when I think of style icons I think of Lori Harvey I love her style like it's so simple but it's edgy and it has like little elements that I know just fit her so well so i kind of like to translate that into my style as well so i'm going to wear this crop top today from aritzia and i'm also going to wear these pants these are like some long pants from zara let's go ahead and try this on okay guys so this is my outfit on as you guys can see it's fully black very monochromatic very very simple yet elegant and chic and it's also edgy okay so now let's move on to the accessories. I have like big chunky gold earrings. And to me, having like gold earrings or gold accessories really like elevate a lot of my looks. So these are my bracelets that I'm going to be wearing today. I have these two bracelets that I got from Aldo. I love them. They're so cute, very, very elegant. And I feel like they're gonna pop more because my whole look is black. You know what I mean? So for shoes, this is my first option. It's this pair of slipper heels from Lane to Val gonna wear this so you guys can see what it looks like this is my first option for my shoes and bag i have the slippers from late interval and my bag is from dynamite as well what do we think this is my next option i really really love this i feel like this is definitely more elevated than the other one um, my heels are way longer, so you know, it kind of makes my legs look longer as well. And because the shoes are kind of like those sock shoes, it really, really blends in with my pants. And yeah, I love it. So I think I'm going to go with this look. I really, really love it. And I have the white Balenciaga bag for a pop of color, so. To me, having your own signature scent is a key element in having an elevated look. The first one is my Baccarat Rouge. Now, this is very, very popular, um, but it makes it smell like a freaking goddess, guys. I feel like this scent is so feminine. It's so classy. It makes it smell so expensive, so bougie. And even though it's popular, it still turns heads. Like, everyone is like... What is that like what are you wearing so i really really love this every time i'm done with this i just keep buying a new one because i just can't let it go okay i really can't it's amazing the next fragrance i'm going to show you guys is the ysl libra udu perfume i really really love this stuff like it is so feminine as well like it just really gets me in tune with my feminine energy and i love it it has very like warm scent of floral of vanilla of orange and it's just beautiful guys and also it's re it's really really affordable this size i think is like 170 dollars but the smaller size is about 80 bucks like 80 canadian so i think it's actually quite affordable for something that smells this good and i think this is actually what i'm going to be using today because yeah so let's do And that's all you need guys honestly so one last tip before i let you guys go is for me my style like i said earlier in this video is so important to me and when i look good and people tell me i look good and i know deep in my heart that i look good it makes me feel confident it makes me feel like i can achieve my goals and i don't know it might sound crazy but i really love looking good and i also want to help you guys look good as well and feel good and feel confident and just get in tune with your feminine self and that comes with a lot of self-discovery with a lot of trial and error so just stay on your own journey and just try to figure out your own style um one thing i would also suggest is try to buy less trendy items and buy items that you know you can wear over and over again items know you can layer and you know items that work for you and your body type so my last tip to looking good and elevating your style for me is i always have to have my nails done okay as you guys can see as you guys can see right now my nails are done i have like some very very simple french tips and for me this is like the perfect length for my nails i love keeping it like short medium ish white nails or french tips those are like my typical go-to nails but you know sometimes i can step out of the box and do something more colorful something longer depending on if i have like a party to go to or i'm going on vacation you know but typically this is how i really love my nails you know 
and i feel like honestly you cannot go wrong with a classic set so yeah guys this is pretty much the end of my video i really really hope you guys enjoyed it please do not forget to hit that subscribe button right down below and let me know what other videos you would like to see on my channel if you guys would like to see more vlogs more makeup tutorials more chit chat going with me is where i actually talk about life and things i'm going through or things i'm noticing and until next time guys peace and love make sure you stay safe and be kind to somebody today mm -hmm.